All righty, Commissioner Mitchell, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. And let me welcome everybody to the last programming meeting of 2021. How interesting. So it's 931. Uh, we'll call this programming meeting to order. Um, Rick, were you able to send out between you and um, Ms. Banks the minutes for the last meeting? Yes, yes. Okay, well, did everybody get a chance to review those minutes and if there are any needs of corrections or adjustments to the minutes? With that silent treatment, I guess that would be a no. So we're gonna stand that the minutes be approved. Um, Rick, you wanna kind of jump in and pull the agenda out and kind of move forward with the, with the agenda? Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, since um, after the uh, regular meeting minutes of November 2nd have been approved, we can move on to the business discussion. Yes. Um, beginning with uh, control room booths, renovations, uh, just really the latest uh, on that. What I could tell you is that um, uh, we were able to get two estimates, uh, two estimates from two separate companies uh, one Columbus tape and video, and the other is Amatrace. Um, and under those two um, estimates and quotes, I should say, uh, quotes and proposals, um, we had Phyllis uh, um, do the nuts and bolts in communicating uh, for that. So I, I want to turn it over to to fill us with the latest details on those two uh, quotes from the companies. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I uh, hope everyone had a pleasant holiday break um, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Like Rick mentioned, we have two quotes. One is from Columbus Tape and Video. They are coming in at, hold on, let me get to the back of my page here. They are coming in at 388, 115, and 85 cents. 3,088, 115, 85. And they that includes um, redoing the booth. Phyllis, you mean 388,000, right? Yeah, 388,000. Sorry, 388,000. This quote includes the booth and uh, some um, engineering in the studio does not include rebuilding the set. The second quote comes in, uh, a little over that, but it does include rebuilding a set up here on the third floor. I'm trying to get the set separately to be rebuilt is 41,890. And uh, the number that, I have. Um, yeah, by, total, by, yeah, yeah, give me that number you have because it'll, I didn't write it down. 399,815. Okay, which one is that one? Okay, because you guys are throwing so many numbers around. I'm not sure. Sorry, 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 sorry. That is okay. the Amatrix. That's the Amatrix quote. And that okay. quote. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, go right ahead then. Okay, so tell me what that quote is. That quote includes uh, redoing the booth, um, redoing the studio, and building the set. Okay, give me that number once again. Rick, give him that number again for me, please. Sure, $399,815 is the quote from Amatrace, which includes the set. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. And the, the other one without the set was? $388,115. I'm sorry, $388,115. Okay. And, and and question though, why we include the set and didn't include the other on the other set? Did they 
The yeah, other's not a set. He's not a set, set builder. Okay. Ryan, is that correct? Correct. He, um, you know, we looked really hard to find somebody to build a set. No one's really given us any other options except kind of what we have now. And that's just some type of curtain, curtain or uh, screens. Uh, Amatrace actually builds sets, you know, like news type sets, as well as, you know, different versions. And we kind of gave them our idea. But yeah, we, we wanted a set quote from both. But uh, you know, the first one, which is Columbus, who doesn't do a set, you know, all they would do was give us uh, some type of curtain or something like that, probably. Understood. Understood. But he knew going in kind of what, what he was bidding for, what he was bidding on, I guess, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Got you. Okay. Go right ahead, Phyllis. Okay. Based on the two quotes um, and talking with the team, I would like to give you our recommendation, if that's okay. Okay, uh, hold on before you give us your recommendation though. So um, anybody else, I mean, anybody got any, any questions or, or any concerns? Uh, Madam Chair, I, I look like you, yeah, I think you had something you want to add to this or something or you ready to say? Yeah, I was just gonna just say to me, you know, we might as well do it right. It says we need it, I'm assuming, uh, Chairman of the committee that we need a, a set as well. So uh, it seems like it's just a ten thousand dollar difference between the three eighty eight and three ninety nine. That's what I'm assuming. I'm just not sure if we just get the total package or what would it cost if we had to if we went with the lower price and then try to find a set. It may be more expensive. Just trying to get some thoughts from the committee. Got it. Understood. And and, and I, I I I get it. I'm, I'm with you. I'm kind of following that idea of thought. Anybody else? want to add um i i mean i agree with that as, as well um you know to uh, have a set um built along the lines of uh, a new control room booth renovated would would be ideal uh, in an ideal situation um i think for that cost uh, uh would not be as significant if we went um, to purchase one unilaterally. Mm -hmm. So my other, my only other question to add to this, though. So I, I'm, I want to make sure that the major concern is the equipment, the, the, the layout of all that good stuff. Not that the set is not important, but I want to make sure that whichever the, that we recommend doing it all in one or separating the two, which one of these guys would you guys say, Phyllis, are, are better at the equipment side of it? Because I think that's most important. And um, that leads me into our recommendation. We believe that Columbus tape and video, as far as equipment will go, will be the best best decision to make. And then um, later on down the line, have Amatrex do the studio, which is uh, 41,890. Um, and I would not be remiss by mentioning these two factors. Um, Columbus tape and video will not start the work until all the equipment is in. And as you know, there have been delays all across the board with getting equipment in. Um, Amatrice, Amatrice on the other, Amatrice on the other side will do the work as the equipment comes in. So those are the pros and cons. Um, we do believe that Columbus Tape will do uh, a, a better job. One, they're familiar with the booth because they've already been down um, and assessed it, um, as well as done some troubleshooting for. So they are very familiar with the booth. Um, so that's why we feel confident that they're the best when it comes to the uh, equipment set up because they're so familiar with the booth and um, the different ways that it's wired, the different, different um, components that are down there. Um, so that would be our recommendation. The only thing is that they would not start uh, doing anything or touching anything until 
all the equipment has been uh, has come in. Got it. Got it. Okay. Interesting. Any other comments? Because as I, my concern is the equipment, and I think we can work on the booth and all that good stuff at a later date, or you know, with the same company. I, I'm, I, but I want to make sure whomever we get, um, they definitely understand that they need to zero in on that equipment and updating the equipment and getting us the right equipment so we can kind of be ready uh, to move the programming committee and or this programming set up, you know, to the next level. So. Any other comments? One, um, I, I have one sure. uh, comment, sir, to um, <clears throat> now that I'm, now that I'm, I'm coming into the fray of uh, uh, working on this project, um, you know, one of the questions I had is given the amount I don't know if we need to do an RFP uh, for it or could could move forward um, in, in, you know, with just the committee's uh, vote. Um, that is something I wanted to throw out on the table. I wasn't clear on the direction that Phyllis had received, um, you know, for the purchase of getting things done. Okay, uh, I guess Fred, isn't Fred on, I think? I'm on, yes, sir. So Fred, kind of kind of, what's that 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 plan? Because I know we got the funds already set aside, correct? Yes, yes. That's correct. So uh, with, with the cost of it, uh, um, let's say if we go with both the set as well as the equipment, uh, what I'm hearing is that that's, about, that's almost 400,000, correct? Roughly, mm -hmm. yep. About four hundred thousand, and Phyllis, you said that how many quotes did you receive? One quote was just for the equipment and not the set, and the other was for both the set and the equipment. Correct? Yes, sir. Um, we we received two two quotes at this point, um, and these quotes are based on the recommendation and the final report. Um, that was uh, provided by MMI. Um, they stated in their report that that was the major thing of concern um, is that the, the equipment is outdated. And so we proceeded based on that recommendation to get quotes. Okay, and you got those quotes, Phyllis, did you work through uh, before Dawn left? Were you working with her to get those quotes? Or were you just- we we did not, we went, we, we did not uh, work with Dawn. Um, we were asked to get quotes and uh, we, we just proceeded to get the quotes. Okay. Um, and uh, how many did you send out, uh, Phyllis? Was it just those two or did you send out uh, a number of them and you just received quotes from those two? Well, we uh, tried to contact a number of people, and these were the two people that uh, responded. Okay. Okay. Um, well, ideally, we'd like to have the three quotes, especially being what it is. Um, but if you reached out uh, to others and they didn't respond, I would uh, suggest that we move forward with it. Um, I'll check with uh, the purchasing department. Uh, Rick or Phyllis, if you could send me that amount and let me know all of the, uh, the organizations in contact with, we can start. Uh, I can take that information and uh, uh, touch base with the uh, department, make sure we're on track, and uh, and begin to move forward. If there's any uh, additional things that we need to do, I can uh, email you, Rick, and copy Madam Chair and uh, and, and well uh, copy the. Uh, Chairman of the board of this board, uh, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, you are uh, chair of this. Yes, that's correct. So uh, I can uh, uh, email you and copy Madam Chair in as well, and let you know uh, if there's any additional steps that we need to take. Okay. Um, is it possible that we can also make sure we get some things in writing, such as the scope of work and all that? We need some Absolutely. paper, a tra paper trail, for lack of a better term. Yes, ma'am. We have a scope of work um, that has been written up um, 
um, based on which direction we were going to go this morning. If you were not going to go with the two quotes that we had, we, we do have uh, uh, a draft of an RFP that does include the scope of work. Hmm. Go ahead, Madam Chair. No, I was just wondering if our legal had a chance to peek at it. No, ma'am, it has not gone as far as the department, but we will be glad to um, um, provide those, provide that to you or whomever we need to. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, so, so why don't we do this? So, Fred, if you would, can you can you jump in? Make sure legal get a get a, get a look at this. Make sure that we're following our procedure through purchasing, and then come back to us with. Uh, let's say the recommendation, because right now I think we, we still got some some things we got to do to verify which way we go and what we do. OK. Um, and I guess so who between is it you, Phyllis and or Rick or both that's going to lead the charge on what kind of where we go from here. Right now, we're going to move to Fred. Let Fred go back and make sure legal, make sure we've got a scope of work, make sure that uh, Purchasing is in order as to how we um, move forward if we decide to move forward with this. Now, but again, so Phyllis, I, I know you and Rick kind of, you work hand in glove, but I want to make sure who's going to kind of keep their eye on the ball and make sure that we move this project forward. Though. Well, um, Mr. Mitchell, I, I'll accept that responsibility as head of the department, um, you know, and um, making sure the ball moves forward, okay. uh, working with Phyllis. Right. And, and Fred, I just, I need for you to make sure that, you know, as the deputy interim um, county manager, uh, administrator to make sure that, you know, we kind of move this thing forward as well though, so. Yes. So uh, the only thing I'll need Phyllis is just, uh, the, the documentation, the quotes that you received from the two organizations. Also would like to know the other um, uh, things that you made contact with that you back from. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm uh, assuming that you, uh, if you sent an email to each one of them, that you sent them the same and everything, asking for quotes and letting them know uh, exactly the scope of work that you do. And, um, you know, if that's the case, if you didn't see uh, a notification back from uh, uh, hypothetically two, and uh, you receive quotes from two. Then we, I think we can move forward. But if you would get that information, I, have, I do have one additional quote, but it does not it does not cover the whole scope of the project. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. And, and Fred, let's make sure that we're, we're following our our policy, though. Uh huh. Okay, so. You know, so get take all the information in, consolidate it, and then come back to, to the committee with kind of we're in we're in line with our policy, and then uh, this committee will make a recommendation to either move forward with one, two, or three, or or none, uh, and resubmit. Okay, we'll do. And, it. and at the same time, let's make sure legal kind of you know eyeball this stuff as well. Mm -hmm. And, and, and last but not least, Fred, I, I know there should be the dollar amount seems to be, and I'm just speaking I'm, uh, off the top of my head, I think the dollar amount should be okay, just listen, looking at the dollar amount, but let's verify that within the budgetary side of things. And uh, this, that leads to another question. You said that we have the funds in the budget. Um, isn't it part of the ARPA fund, if I'm not mistaken? That's yes. Right. Okay. Uh, Upper farms will cover this? I, I want to say yes, but I want you to verify all of this. So that's why I want to make sure that you kind of, you know, embrace this and, 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 and really make sure that this, everything is done. We cross all of our T's and dotted all of our I's to make you, sure. Did you all, you all been told that our performance will cover this? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, I do have um, an additional question and I'd like Ryan to chime in on. Um, we may, uh, there are also subscriptions of different, um, software that, uh, uh, I'm thinking those were included in the quote as well, Ryan, or is that going to be a separate thing? Um, when you look at 
Columbus video and tape. And part of the reason we like them is they concluded everything. So every piece of software you might need, you'll, you know, they're going to put that license in there, the television broadcasting contract. Everything's going to be in there for you. What I do want to say this, I know you guys are, you got to dot your I's and cross your T's. I think with both of these quotes, I think there were 30 days and we got them, you know, early December. So it's possible your numbers are going to change, you know, in so many days. I know we're not going to let that, you know, put us in a bind or anything, but I, I do know, you know, as well, especially for Columbus, the way they work, they put you in a queue. So I don't know where this will put us in the queue, you know, as we continue to move down the road on these decisions. So, And I'm looking at them and uh, I don't see an expiration date. And if you have it in front of you, Ryan, I see an expiration date on Amatrex for January 7th. And I'm looking for the one for... Nate uh, says 30 days, and he sent it December 6th. He said this quote is good for 30 days. Okay. Yeah, that's the date I have on here, December 6th. Okay. So, so is there any way possible... <clears throat> now, we could kind of move as quickly as, as Fred moves um, and, and getting everything kind of... Um, together and make sure that, like I said, legal and purchasing and everything else looks and makes sense. And then we can kind of, we can call a special call meeting for this committee to, to address it and hopefully get it pushed forward if we feel like this is the right way to go. Only if we follow our policies um, and make a recommendation to the board at, with the, at the first meeting in January. But the question is, uh, will, will, Fred, do you think there's enough time here for you? Or do you think we need to probably ask these guys to give us an additional 30 days to kind of keep this project moving. You tell me. Yeah, we would definitely need another 30 days with all we have going on, Commissioner Mitchell. Got it. We probably would need a, an additional 30 days. Uh, Phyllis or Rick, if one of you all could reach out to that vendor or both vendors just to see if they would be willing to extend that 30 day threshold to the end of January, that, that would work in our favor. Got it. Got it. And I think, Fred, based on these on these dates, it'll be probably the first week of February, if I'm not mistaken, just based on the dates and timing of what I've just heard thus far. Okay. The, the first of February for? For both. I think because it, like it was a sixth and a seventh type of a time frame. Of yeah, December, yes, sir. December 6th and one was for January 7th that expires right. on December 6th. Okay. So... That first week or so of, of February would probably be that time frame, and that thing, I think that should give us ample time to really work through if we decide to move forward with these guys, and if not, we'll we'll resubmit and, and start over again. We want to get this right. We don't want to just kind of rush it through because we're trying to meet their time or beat their time. Correct. And um, uh, let me see here, Rick. Could you confirm the the cost of? Uh, uh, it, was that Amatrex? Yeah, yeah, no, not a problem, uh, Frederick. Amatrace um, proposal quote is three hundred and ninety nine thousand eight hundred and fifteen dollars, okay. and that is with the set. With uh, the set uh, rebuild, set rebuild, and equipment. Correct. Okay. Okay. And you want the other one? Uh, yes, please. Let me have all of them. Sure. Columbus tape and video is $388,115. dollars $388,115? Correct. And Columbus Tape and Video, they would not rebuild the set, right? Correct. Okay. Okay.
Can I chime in one second? Sure. This is Ron. I just want to make everybody understand what that means. So they're still going to, Columbus is still going to redo the studio. So we're still going to be able to do the things we want to do, which is, you know, record live to tape, also go live from the studio to the TV station. You know, the only big difference, like I said, is they're going to build a physical set, Amatrace will, you know, with backdrops, a nice news desk if we want, some different types of lighting. But, you know, Columbus is also going to redo our lights, redo everything. It's really just that one last piece of here's a physical set that you'll have, you know, for district dialogue, clearly for Madam Chair's shows and any other show we do. I just I just want to make sure everybody understands that. I, I didn't know if we did or not. Yeah, cosmetically, uh, things will remain the same with Columbus tape as, aside from the lighting. Um, and we, we, we did look at, um, he, uh, Amatrex did show us, you know, how they're able to build sets um, for the needs that we have. So if I may, Commissioner Mitchell um, fully um, explain what our recommendation is, is to use Columbus since our, our, our priority is the booth and making sure the studio is um, in a way where we can continue programming, go with Columbus um, tape and video for that and later down the line, work with Amatrex to build the set. Understood. I, I think I think that's clearly stated, and I think we understand that. But I think Fred got a little bit more work to do to verify a couple of things prior to that. Yes, sir. And, and prior to us even considering either recommendation. Yes, sir. Okay. All righty. Um, Sierra, anything on your end? Uh, no, sir. I'm just kind of taking it all in, but I appreciate uh, reaching out and. Um, I appreciate you guys taking in our recommendation as well. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I'm pretty set uh, with what my team is recommending. Um, and we'll see how we go from there. Thank Got you. Man. Appreciate the time. Okay. And, and, and what, what I want to make sure we understand is what's most important is that we get the equipment right. We get, we get that side of it right. Because I think uh, this board is kind of struggling with and, and this, this department is struggling with equipment, which we know we're dated. And we know we need to be able to connect um, live via Comcast, streaming with Facebook and everything, and, and everything else. And we need to have the proper tools to do so. And we need to make sure that part of it is absolutely on point. And that way, when we move forward, you know, we, we, we can kind of cover those aspects of of the programming side of things and building out a studio set is absolutely something that's important, but the equipment is most important, at least to me. And I can't you know, speak for this entire board, but it's most important to me that the equipment is correct and what you guys will need to be able to, to function and do your jobs. So anything else on this particular item? So Fred, I don't know how fast can we kind of get this moving. If we need to do a special call meeting, please let's plan to do so. Uh, just coordinate with, with Rick and, and, and Phyllis and that way we can kind of make sure we get this thing you know, on the agenda as quickly as possible. Uh, Madam Chair, anything else you want to add before we move on to the next? No, I agree with everything you just said, uh, Chairman of the Committee. I'm just going to add a little humor. Uh, certainly since I agree with you, that equipment is most important. It really is because we can't do anything without the equipment. And then since we can't get the set, and I know the set will be delayed. Uh, certainly I, I would like to order a makeup artist for me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, well, I agree with everything you said, Commissioner, that, that equipment is the most important piece. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. got it. And, and we'll look at the makeup arts. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So, 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 um, and, and, and Fred, let's make sure that we are definitely clear with all the subscriptions, uh, any, you know, maintenance down the road. And, you know, because I know a lot of this stuff going to change and update kind of how that works. Because um, all of this, you know, needs to be included in hopes 
that there is enough money here from the opera funds that we're using um, that's already been laid out that we it, it's going to be covered and if there's more needed then we need to know kind of so we can make that request moving forward so we can kind of get out all we need to kind of move this department forward so fred can you assure me that uh, you'll make sure those finances are, are are laid out and properly in order absolutely we're, we're emailing Roz as we speak to see if those funds have been allocated and um uh we'll report back to you commissioner sounds good sounds good thank you thank you thank you um on that note, uh, Rick, I guess we'll move on to the next agenda item if there is one. Sure. Yes, sir. Um, just to give an update in terms of uh, new communications department equipment, um, you know, you hit the nail on the head. Um, having equipment is going to be essential for the upgrade of our department. And we've been receiving new ordered communications department equipment, cameras, lens, audio um, equipment as early as yesterday um, that is coming in. So just wanted to alert you to that. Um, and I uh, want to thank you uh, as well. And, uh, um, you know, as part of being the chair of the programming committee to help spearhead this effort. Um, Equipment's coming in, and um, you know I could tell you uh, a number of items will allow us to Facebook Live from you know the field of broadcast. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, you know, so that that's you know just wanted to give you a specific update on that um, as well. Uh, if there any one else who wants to comment, feel free. You know, Phil or Ryan or so. Before that, though, but but so just one quick question: any any um, updates when it comes to just speaking of Comcast? How how close and and are you guys in contact with anything that, that that's coming along with Comcast? Um, any any updates from you know, they're in that we need to be kind of addressing in getting this equipment um, uh, be prepared for. I know at one time they was trying to take us to another, um, I'm saying 5G, but it, it wasn't that, but whatever they was trying to take us to a digital era that we decided not to go because we couldn't combine all the, the city, the county and the school board stuff. Um, just don't want to leave them out and get in this equipment only to find that they do an update that could change the whole directory of how this thing may go again. So are we staying? That, I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead. And that, that, is, uh, um, uh, that is something that was brought up by Columbus Tate um, about our franchise, franchise status with uh, Comcast. Um, I uh, reached out to, per my director, reached out to legal and to Miss Jennifer about that the status of that situation and it is an ongoing process. I do believe the last I heard from Ms. Jennifer is that they are still working with that franchise piece. Cause that is like you said, it's gonna be a very important component once we do the, um, the major, the major uh, work with the booth. Now what um, uh, my director is speaking of is equipment that will keep us uh, going with programming, with the with the district dialogues, with the clearly, we'll be able to um, do in-house um, production with the equipment that we're getting in right now, which we will also, if we have a ribbon cutting come up before we, you know, anytime soon, or anything that is on site, we will be, we will have the capability to handle those type of events as well. So that's the other component and is that we, we have this equipment now that will help us get to um, and, and stay steady with the programming. Um, we're, we're doing, two, we're looking at two separate things here. We're trying to, with the Columbus and Amatrex quotes, we're working to keep the television station up and running. Um, that's broadcasting the BOC meetings. 
um, and any meetings that are to be aired on the television station. Now with the new equipment that we're getting in and have gotten in this week, that's to stabilize and keep the programming uh, part going. So we can do clearly in the studio and then upload it to the television station. But if we don't have the television station in good shape, then that will impact us getting that um, programming onto the television station. And um, so that's, that's where we are. We wanna make sure that we have the equipment to maintain the programming and then make sure the television station is able to handle the programming. Um, if all, like a television, we have an issue with the television, then we still have our backup. We still have the website. We still have our social media platforms to uh, present those programs to the public. Okay, got it. Okay, well, uh, we got a little, we got a lot of work that we got to get done, guys. So, um, Rick, between you and Fred and, and, and Ms. Banks, you guys just got to, I guess, work together and, and hopefully getting these tasks done and assuring that what the general public is seeing on DC 23, that it's of the best quality and, and we're putting our best foot forward. So just let's, I, I know we've got the missing pieces of equipment and everything else that's forthcoming, but we still got to do our, our due diligence and making sure that what's being received on DC TP 23 is at our best. You know, because I know we've had a couple of power outages and programming down and uh, how you guys are being notified. I'm hoping that we're working on how you would be notified or somebody would be notified when it's down, not somebody having to flip on the TV only to find that it's down. Are we, uh, is, is some of this equipment will allow this to be, allow you guys to be notified. I mean, I'm hoping that this is the kind of direction that we're going. That is the direction we're going to um as, as to to make that happen yes sir correct that's right to make okay that happen. okay good, good enough good enough um anything else on this particular topic good discussion though no not from my answer yeah no. and, and and the only thing else i'll add too though is that so we won't drop the ball as we did with district dialogue with myself um how and what are we doing to rectify who is leading the charge when it comes to programming, how we're leading the charge with, with all of our programming to assure that we don't miss, miss the mark uh, because of late notice, I guess. Um, I'm leading the charge of that, sir. Um, leading the charge. Um, and what we're gonna do is um, provide a calendar of reminders in our outlook, in addition to what we also had going. Uh, but I'll be leading the charge and um, don't anticipate that to occur again, you know, missing that situation again. Okay, okay, okay. As long as there's a plan in place. So we yes, just gotta sir. make sure, and, and, and that's just not with district dialogue. I mean, that's with any programming that we're dealing with that comes yes. from you guys. I just want to make sure who's leading this and kind of where we are and that we're always ahead because you, you have to plan, especially when you're dealing with uh, programming from, a, from a, a visual perspective, there's a lot of planning that has to go in, 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 into making sure that this is right versus radio. You can kind of do it in the last minute in the 11th hour and get it done because it's just audio. Correct. Correct. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, but I'm leading. I'm, I'm leading. Okay. All right. Um, anything else, Rick? Is there anything else? Any other agenda item? Uh, staffing. Um, we, uh, uh, Ryan, you know, wanted to recognize Ryan uh, as being full, full time. Uh, thanks uh, to the Board of Commissioners. Uh, you know, Want to make sure you know that that was occurred, and just you know recognize the hard work and effort uh, he did as as a part time employee mm -hmm. uh, when we were down staffing, and um, so that is now full time. 
And that's what we wanted to recognize. Well, welcome aboard, Ryan, uh, at least full time now. And thank you for all your hard work. <laughs> thank you. There was, there was also discussion, sir, um, and Chairman Jones in regards to uh, uh, IS um, in light of streaming, the amount of streaming that we do um, with committee meetings. Um, there was discussion of someone with IS to uh, help us with that. And I don't know if that, I don't know where that discussion lies right now. I don't know if it's a question we follow up with the IS director or, or, or not, but um, that's something that was told to us. And okay. I just want to follow. What are you asking? Are you asking for personnel? Are you asking that IT personnel. help? I know. Go ahead. Uh, personnel, they were hiring someone um, that would be dedicated to the communications department. Got you, got you. And, and I guess we can probably lean on Fred now that he's kind of dealing with the day to day. So, Fred, I don't know if you can kind of chime in or jump in and kind of find out where we are with that. And and Rick, if you could restate that, you said that you you requested additional sure. this during the budget process. Yeah, yeah during, during the well during the budget process, um, we were told that IS um, would be building its staff. So it's not someone on my team. Right. It's on IS's team, but they would be dedicated to um, us for streaming um, purposes, streaming events. They also had a separate person for the court systems Right. judicial side it was amongst that kind of conversation okay i can reach out to alex and see if that uh if, if that has um you know if they've assigned a person specifically to communications and much like what you said about the, the uh, judicial side i believe elliot uh bugs the person that uh that works with the uh the judges and see mm -hmm. if same scenario has been created for the communications department for streaming and uh, and other things that you own. That's okay. yes, that's correct. Eloquently said. And if we can kind of find out, Fred, exactly kind of what that looks like, how it's going to be done, kind of, and I know that's going to be, you know, uh, it won't be like a, a dedicated person, but it'll be somebody who's dedicated when that time is needed. From when it comes to streaming and others, I would assume is what Rick is kind of alluding to. Okay. Um, and then, Commissioner, yeah. Mitchell, Commissioner Mitchell, we will need, um, there are a number of meetings that are streamed. Um, yes. and, and it is, um, it is pressing, I believe, on the department. And that was another thing that was in the recommendation from MMI that there be someone that is dedicated to streaming um, all meetings. Um, there are times when the, the team is here until 10, 11 o'clock streaming and then having to turn around and come back in the next morning with another meeting probably on their schedule. So we'd like that person to be able to take on a majority of those meetings. Um, and then unless there are certain meetings that you would rather communications handle, um, but we, we definitely need the help in that area, especially when we're gonna be taking on a lot more projects with the new equipment and ideas for programming. It would uh, be a, a pleasure or a real asset to have somebody assist us with those with the streaming. Got it, and, and understand, I, I get, Fred, I guess you'll you'll work through this though, but I don't think there's going to be a dedicated person. Let me back up. I don't think there'll be a, a personnel uh, that will be uh, in the programming department, if I'm hearing this correctly. However, I think Alex and these guys, from the IT perspective of setting it up, structuring it, making sure that it rolls and, and happens, I think that approach will be a, a, a good approach with cross-training 
all of you guys to be prepared in, a, in the event of there's an emergency. However, when this happens, when we're doing streaming, let's say Vice Chairman Robinson did a streaming once that it required us to be, you guys and, and even myself, there late hours. Those types of situations happens, but it, it happens sparingly. It doesn't happen all the time. So someone having to come back in that next morning I guess, Rick, that'll be kind of up to you and managing your department as to hours and timing and, you know, when those types of situations happen. But I don't think, Fred, you, I mean, and Madam Chair, you guys correct me, I don't think there's going to be a dedicated, there's not going to be another person added to your staff if that's what you're asking. I don't think that's going to happen. However. No, 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 right. sir. We're not adding an additional person to staff. No, I sir, no, sir. So, but cross training and, and, you know, letting IT kind of address those streaming needs and assuring that, you know, it's right. And which Alex did, I'm just using vice chair as an example. He came in, he assured it was right. He stayed the entire time and he had to be back up that next morning as well. So uh, that's something that you guys will have to adjust within your department. Rick. So when it comes to those type of situations, but it doesn't happen every day. It's not an ongoing thing. It's just something it is when it happens. And when that need, is, uh, it, it happens, we just got to be prepared to make the adjustment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else there, Rick, before, I, before we kind of move on? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Ms. Banks, anything on your end? No, sir. I think that was all we had. Okay. Madam Chair? I think you're on mute. Oh, yeah. You Sorry about that. Um, no, everything is, it sounds good. Everything so far so good. And I know we have a, well, the, um, the team has a list of things to, to accomplish by a certain uh, date. Yes. And I know they're going to work to get it done. Thank you, Chairman of the Committee. Great meeting. You got it. You got it. Well, on that note, if uh, there are no, oh, I guess, Sherelle, did anything, did I miss anything, Sherelle? No, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, guys, again, thank you. I appreciate you guys. I know everybody's in their holiday mode and just coming off of, of a Christmas break and now getting ready for the, the new year to come in and all that good stuff. You guys, you know, be safe and, and, and enjoy your New Year's. Uh, celebrations and all that good stuff and get ready to have a, a great 2022. And I think we're going in the right direction with the things in which we're trying to line up and put in play. And Fred, I really need for you to kind of, you know, kind of, you know, that day-to-day -day take the lead and, and make sure that, you know, we're moving this stuff and moving it pretty quickly because I know this needs to get done and it needs to get done a lot sooner than later. So outside of that, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Enjoy your holidays, and I will catch up with you, I guess, on our next meeting, and we'll put you on notice when that happens, and you guys enjoy your New Year's celebrations, and have a great day, and uh, look Thank forward you. to see Thank you guys you. and what's going to happen in 2022. Thank Bye. you, sir. Awesome. Thank you. You did the same. And this meeting stands adjourned. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.